turning out to IT mate, the amount of deep fake and artificial intelligence created content is increasing as we get closer to election day. IT mate's Cody Fisher spoke with a Purdue professor who's tracking how AI is being used this election. Right now, a lot of the AI generated content connected to the election is being used as a form of entertainment, but the technology could still be used in more dangerous ways. This is one of the AI generated images being spread across the internet. It appears to show Kamala Harris speaking to a crowd in Chicago with the red flags of communist Russia flying in the background. Arguably, this is meant to be something like satire, something like entertainment. It's not meant to be taken literally, and even though, you know, many of us would come and see, oh, this is you know, clearly not uh, you know, a real uh, instance of, of, of Kamala Harris uh, uh, doing something, there are people who may believe this kind of messaging. This is another deep fake, reposted by former President Trump on his social media platform. Taylor Swift fans for Trump, uh, ranging from sort of, you know, quite credible looking images to uh, ones that are more uh, you know, just meant to be symbolic. This one, you know, Trump says, I accept this support, presumably. Schiff has identified a list of different things posts like these are trying to achieve. Some of them might be trying to invigorate uh, your sort of political supporters and rally your supporters against the opposition. Uh, others may be trying to invoke this kind of informational uncertainty. To show how hard it is to tell the difference between real and fake, Schiff put me through a quiz. That's fake. Oh, really? Wow. Really, but it is AI. Yeah. Mm. That's. This would be an you know, example of a deep fake. So I guess this is the original and manipulated image. Uh, I think she's probably a real person. No, again. Made by uh, Runway, which has these very compelling uh, videos. Wow. So that process took five minutes. So seven out of 10, that's pretty solid. Shift score? I get a seven out of 10 also, <laughs> okay. despite you know studying this stuff. Even though a majority of AI deepfakes circulating on the web right now are more for entertainment purposes, Schiff is concerned it won't stay that way as we get closer and closer to election day. Could it get more insidious? So we don't know what will happen, but it certainly could get more insidious. The biggest worry is even if we're not getting anything crazy right now, what's to stop Russia from putting a thousand images of fake ballots or illegal voters or whatever right around the election. Schiff and his students are going to be monitoring AI and deep fakes as we get closer and closer to the election. And they're also going to be studying how effective these deep fakes are at influencing public opinion. For IT Mate, I'm Cody Fisher for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.